Mashmar, Mr. Barry with you. Mr. Mashmar, Mr. Barry with you. How's it going? How's it going? And we are on a Tuesday. This is Chili, by the way. He is my first uh, Secret Santa present. He does a little dance, maybe later. All right, today is a really, really uh, short and simple assignment, especially to those of you who know your notes. I'm going to take over the screen, and Mr. Barry is going to take over the commentary. Okay, so assignment 21, we're dealing with the lines and the spaces of the staff. So let me go ahead and zoom in so we can see. All right, so let me read you guys listen. So it says each line and space of the staff has a letter name in relation to its clef sign, okay? The first seven letters of the alphabet, let me say that a couple of times. The first seven letters. He's saying the first seven the letters. The first seven letters of the alphabet are used in naming the lines and spaces. That would be these right here. Of both clefs, okay? So the names of the four spaces where the treble clef actually spells the word face. Okay, F-A-C-E, and we're spelling from the bottom space to the top space. So space one is the bottom space, all the way up to the fourth space, which would be the top space. Two important words in that sentence, spaces, treble clef. Okay, now looking at the next one, we're also looking at spaces, but this is for the base clef. So in the base clef, they spell the word ace, and then we have a G on the end of that, so H-G. A saying that helps us remember the letters of the, the spaces for the base club is all cows eat grass. Or you can use all cars eat gas. Whatever little saying you can use to help you memorize it, use it, okay? Now we're looking at lines for the trouble club. So you can remember the names of the five lines in the trouble club by memorizing this phrase. Every good boy does fine, okay? Every good boy does fine. Again, lines and treble clef are the very important two words of that sentence. Okay, and then looking at the last uh, example here, so in the base clef, remember this saying, to help you memorize the lines. Good boys do fine always, okay? So help that, use that phrase to help you guys memorize the placement of the letters for the lines for the base. Can clef. I add something? Most definitely. I so. want to show you a little trick for the treble clef. So the treble clef, the bottom line is E. All right. Now we know we use seven letters in the alphabet. Okay. So when we get to G, that means we're going to go back to A. So you can also do, this is hint, hint, hint for question six. You can go E, F, G, back to the beginning, A, B, C, D, E, F. That is what question six is asking from bottom to top in order. You can use your hand just like I am. E, F, G, back to A, A, B, C, D, E, F. There's your lines and spaces together like filing the alphabet hmm. okay so let's read through the question guys we'll do number one together so whoever can answer this turn your microphone on how many letters of the alphabet are used in naming the lines and spaces of a staff who can answer that question seven, seven. excellent seven definitely is correct thank you for answering so now we're just going to read through these questions guys this is what you're going to be answering today and we're going to put emphasis on certain words, okay? So write the letter names of each space in the treble clef. So spaces and treble clef, those are the two key words. So that's what you're looking for to answer number two, the spaces for the treble clef. Number three, uh, write the letter names of the lines in the bass clef. So lines and bass club, that's what you're looking for to answer number three. Number four, write the letter names of the lines in the treble club. Okay, and then number five, write the letter names of the spaces in the bass club. Okay, so those are the key words that are going to help you guys answer questions two through five. 
Now, number six this is what Mr. Mashmeyer just discussed with you. So it says, write the letter names of all, all the lines and spaces. So all from line one to line five. Okay, so guys, what you're gonna do for both clubs? For both clubs. So what you're gonna do, and actually, I'll, I'll we'll, we'll help out. So, so we're gonna start with the the trouble club. Okay, so the trouble club, and I'll just hold this up. I guess to both. It works, works better if you use that. What, what am I using this for? Because you can see it better. Oh, duh. <laughs> Okay, so who can turn their microphone on and remind us again for the lines, the placement of the notes or the letter names for the Trouble Club for lines? What's the saying? The placement of the pitches for the lines for Trouble Club. What's the saying again, guys? Every. Every good boy does fun. Thank you. Good so, job, Clark. So that makes the bottom line an E. E all the way up to the top line which would be an f an f so just like this just like that guys now who can tell me the placement of the letter names for the spaces for a trouble club what word does it spell come on man Spaces of the Trouble Club. What word is spelled? It's four letter word. What is it? Space. Space so, in the space. So watch what happens when I put when I place the pitches in the correct spaces. So now I just put them all in the correct. I'll move it over to the other camera in just a second. But I just place them in the correct spaces, and then I also have the pitches on the correct lines. Now, if I start from saying the letter names from the bottom to the top in order, then I will be saying E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. So Just that's like this. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. Hmm. So that's what it's actually asking you guys to do for question six. They want you to, to Write the letter names of all of the lines in the spaces from line one to line five for both clubs. Both clubs. So that's treble club. So you're going to have to do bass clef on your own. All right, we're going to take off here. So stop sharing. All right, we'll go back to here. All right, campers, just remember, peace out. I love you. See you tomorrow. Take care, guys.